Hello and welcome to this video on the cosine rule. This video will cover what is the cosine rule, when can it be used, how to use the rule to find both sides and angles, and further support. The cosine rule is to be used for non-right angled triangles. If the triangle is a right angled triangle, you might consider using Pythagoras or Sokartoa to solve it. If the triangle is not a right angled triangle, consider using the sine rule or the cosine rule to solve it. The cosine rule is applicable to solving a triangle if there are two side lengths known as well as the angle between them, as in these three examples. In this case, the rule can be used to find the length of the third side. It can also be used when three side lengths are known to find the magnitude of any of the angles in the triangle. If the sides of a triangle are of fixed length, then there is only one possible triangle that can be drawn, barring any rotations or reflections of this triangle. Similarly, if two side lengths are given and the angle between them is stipulated, then again there is only one possible result for the triangle that can be drawn. Watch how the angle at the top of this triangle increases and decreases. As the angle changes, so does the length of the side opposite this angle. There is a special relationship between the cosine of this changing angle and the length of its opposite side. This is known as the cosine rule. The ratio of the cosine of this angle to the length of the side opposite the angle is constant, and this is the same for each angle and its opposite side. Like the sine rule, the cosine rule has two forms, one in which the square of the unknown side length is the subject, and one in which the cosine of an unknown angle is the subject. The letters of the angle and its opposite side can be interchanged in both forms of the equation to calculate any side length or the magnitude of any angle. In this triangle, there are two known sides and a known angle, but this known angle is not the included angle between the two known sides. The other two angles are not known, so the cosine rule cannot be used to find angle A. In the second triangle, one of the two sides that form the angle is unknown, even though the side opposite the angle is known, so the cosine rule cannot be used. It's worth noting, however, that both of these triangles could be solved using the sine rule. In these two triangles, the cosine rule can be used. The 68 degree angle on the left can be deduced, and then side length n can be found. And on the right, the magnitude of angle E can be found by using the three known side lengths. To find the length n, the appropriate values are substituted into the equation. Each term is evaluated and then, using the correct order of operations, n squared is calculated. The value of n is then found by taking the square root. To find the magnitude of angle E, the appropriate values are substituted into the correct form of the equation to find the cosine of E degrees. This can be left in fraction form. The magnitude of E is found by the inverse cosine of this fraction. For further support, contact your local academic skills numeracy advisor on your campus. You can access the Academic Skills Numeracy resources on LEO. You can also search the internet for exercises with solutions on the cosine rule. In this particular example, there are 199,000 results, so there is no shortage of material to practice with. 